So over on Twitter for the past few months, I've been asking my Twitter followers, who is the greatest Canadian? We've gone through many, many different polls and we have a pretty good list going. So I decided to count down the top 250 Canadians based on my Twitter follower results. And right now we're on number 249, Louise McKinney. Louise McKinney made an impact almost wherever she found herself. Starting out as a school teacher, she was drawn to the temperance movement and that would lead her to politics. She began as an organizer for the Canadian Christian Temperance Union, which aligned with her commitment to strengthen family life in Alberta. In 1917, she ran for a seat in the Alberta legislature and won, defeating the incumbent, William Moffat. One of two women elected that year into the legislature, she was the first woman sworn into the legislature in Alberta history, the first woman elected to a legislature in Canadian history, and the first woman elected to a legislature in the entire British Empire. As an MLA, she spoke in favor of temperance, education, government ownership of grain elevators, the property rights of women, and she would help get the Dower Act implemented, which provided money for widows in the province. While she was defeated in the 1921 election, her impact on Canada did not stop there. In 1927, she became one of the famous five, who argued the person's case so that women could be declared persons under the British North America Act and therefore be entitled to sit on the Canadian Senate. They would win that case in 1929, a landmark decision for gender equality in Canada. Unfortunately, like many at the time, her views on immigration and eugenics would now be considered racist. McKinney would pass away in 1931. In 1939, she was recognized as a person of national historic significance, and the person's case was declared a historic event in 1997. In 2009, McKinney and the other four of the famous five were made honorary senators. So that was Louise McKinney, number 249 on our list of the 250 greatest Canadians from pre-colonial days all the way up to today. So tune in in a couple days when I have number 248.